acting in a very clear fashion. So, as she rightly said, uh, you must define. Uh, earlier, all the other terminologies, uh, severe sepsis, septic shock, all these things were there. Now, there are only two terminologies which are still used. One is sepsis, which is defined as the life threatening organ dysfunction caused by dysregulated post response. Second is septic shock, where it is causing a circulatory cellular and other abnormalities because of the infection. So, sepsis is defined only when there is a proven infection. Earlier, uh, without infection, there is a uh, systemic inflammatory response syndrome, SERS was there, where uh, you don't have an established infection. Now, most of the cases where you suspect sepsis, they have some infection which is uh, present there. So, we no longer use the word SERS or anything here. Now, the yeah, pillars of treatment, these are the things, if you remember this, you'll be able to easily write the answers. First thing is antimicrobial, because it is an uh, infection, we have to cure the infection or uh, eradicate the infection. So for that, you need a culture. So first and foremost thing is uh, you do a, a double uh, culture before you start the empirical antibiotic treatment. And then to assess the severity, you assess the lactate level to see how far the tissue hypoxia is causing anaerobic respiration and causing the elevation in the lactate level. Then you start the resuscitation simultaneously. As soon as you have taken the culture, you start the resuscitation with fluids and balance crystallized is the choice. Then if the fluids are not able to support the circulation, you go for as a process in the form of uh, uh, noradrenaline, vasopressin, and uh, other drugs. Then oxygenation and ventilation. Earlier uh, recommendations were to have a glycemic control also. What is the name of the doctor you presented from Sims? Jubi. Jubi. Huh? Jubi. Jubi. Ah, yes, sir. Okay. So, what is the recommendation regarding glycemic control? Uh, more than 180 milligram deciliter as uh, initiate insulin therapy. Yeah, so you must start the insulin. That was also in the earlier recommendation. So oxygenation and ventilation comes uh, next. So antimicrobial fluids, vasoactive agents, oxygenation and ventilation. Other treatments, heparin is recommended in some cases uh, as a prophylaxis because the patient may be uh, likely to go in for any deep vein thrombosis. Insulin is required if you have to keep the blood sugar between 144 and 180 and proton pump inhibitors to prevent the gastric ulceration and the uh, curling cells because of the stress. And renal replacement therapy if there is an acute kidney injury as a complication of sepsis. And steroids may be considered and there is a as a pressor resistance. And sodium bicarbonate may be given less than 5 milliequivalent, and acetaminophen should be administered as a symptomatic drug. So, this is all the recommendation that is given. So, if you remember this chart, I think you can answer all the points one by one. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, after four are specific antimicrobial fluid for uh, uh, vascular support, vasoactive agent oxygenation and ventilation for increased oxygen delivery and the other substitutional treatment you have seven categories heparin insulin proton pump inhibitor renal replacement steroids sodium bicarbonate and also okay so other than that i think uh, otherwise it was a very good presentation doctor and uh, you can remember this slide for your easy writing of the answer in the theory okay so that completes